Hi everybody, <laughs> we are here at Tanglewood. Um, it's a community city park yep. in Clemens, North Carolina. One of our favorite parks to go to. That's right, and we are gonna try something new today. <laughs> Very new. We are going to have Beth do this, the outside setup stuff. We'll see how that goes. I said we need to try this so that I know how to do it after being on the road three years, almost three years. It's like it's time for me to to do this. Yeah, we've been camping <laughs> like over five years together. Yeah, but, but on the road a little over three, so yeah. full time. Little Actually, over gosh, it's, yeah, it's, it's way over five years, it's like seven. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's probably about time I learned how to do this. Yeah, so here goes, here goes, we're right. gonna see how it goes. Yep. So the first thing we're gonna do, we pulled in the campsite <laughs> <laughs> and Beth is going to grab the electrical. Yep. Board Our surge and suppressor. And this? Nope, 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 not nope. that yet. <laughs> I get ahead of myself we're sometimes. Gonna, that, that's okay. So as a surge suppressor, we're going to check our circuit breaker before we disconnect from the truck. That way, if it doesn't work, we can let them know and maybe go to a new spot or right. have them fix it. Make sure the pole's good, Right. basically. Okay. First thing you do, you make sure that 50 amp circuit breaker is off. It 50 had... amp circuit breaker is off. Where does that say that? That's the big one in the middle. <laughs> okay. See how it's see yeah. how it's down. Right here. Yep, that's yep. down. Okay, it's off. Okay. Yep. And then we're okay. gonna plug this in. Correct. Plug it straight in. Right there. Push it all the way in. Okay. There you go. Okay. okay. Then what? Now hit that 50 amp circuit breaker. Push it up. Yep. And we watch the surge protect the. Surge the, the, the surge uh, guard. <laughs> surge guard, the EMS, go through its system. Make sure it's good. I heard it click. It clicked. Line one's good voltage. Line two's good voltage. Everything is good. Okay, turn the circuit breaker back off. Okay. All right, so we know we've got good power here. Okay. <laughs> the surge protector <laughs> for the electric. Actually, it's the EMS. EMS for the for the, so, the electric. So yeah. Got that done. Only so, 10 more steps to go. <laughs> so Beth said she wants me to go ahead and do the disconnect from the truck and all that stuff. Yeah, so we'll let him do so that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm not going to, we're not going to put no. that on film though. No, we'll do that. Okay. So. so I decided that it does need to be on film. If he's gonna put me on film, I need to put him on film. <laughs> so we're gonna have him disconnect the truck and we're gonna show you how he does that. So this campsite is a little bit downhill. So towards the back of the trailer. Since it's downhill towards the back of the trailer, I put the rear wheels up on a block so that when it comes time to level, it'll be able to go down below, hopefully it'll be able to go down below the level so it can do the auto level process. Right. If not, we'll have to hook back up to the truck, put more blocks under the wheels, and then do it rather than that rather than trying to do it manually, we'll just let it Yeah, fingers it crossed, fingers crossed. This will yep, be enough. Crossed. Yes. So we've got blocks under the wheels, the chalk behind it because the trailer's gonna want to roll backwards. So at this point, come over and I'm putting the Front wheels, or front wheels, the front <laughs> jacks down. And we do love those snap pads on our jacks. Yes, we do. They've been a lifesaver. Okay, so now I've got just a little bit of weight on the jacks. At this point, I will unlatch the pitch. Pull the pin, and the trailer still slid back. It still bit. slid back a little bit when I pulled the handle, mm -hmm. so the uh, the chocks didn't hold it as well as it should have. Right. But you can see why you put the front jacks down. Mm -hmm. If I hadn't put the front jacks down, then the trailer would have slid back and it right. would come down onto the truck. On top of the truck, yeah. And don't exactly. ever be underneath that, that truck. Don't ever be in between the truck and the trailer when you're doing all that. Well, not while, not while you're backing the truck up. Right, because you don't want to get caught between there and the, yeah, and the never RV. When, never when you're backing the truck up. Right, yeah. and then when you just and you just connect, don't be underneath there also, correct? Well, you have to at some point, but 
but I don't I don't get behind it. Right, you get but to just want to make sure you don't put your arm right. Here and That's here. what I was talking about, thinking about yeah. In the event that it comes down, it falls. Right? Yeah, so we've heard that happen before. So yeah, raising the front jacks just to pull the all the weight off of the hitch. And I've got all the weight off of the hitch, and I will go ahead and disconnect everything. There's the breakaway cable. There's the main seven pin plug with all the brake, you know, that has all the brake signals and headlights and all that stuff. And then we have a charging system as well so that our alternators charge at a full level rather than just a trickle charge. So all of that is disconnected. And there's... Did he pull up, right? Yep, pull it up. Beth is actually gonna pull forward because we have our generator back here, as she pulls forward, I run the run the legs up just a little bit to make sure that it clears the generator. And once she's clear of the generator, put that up. All right, you can go ahead and park it, sweetie. So at this point, we got a red flashing light on left and a red flashing light on rear, which shows that we're not level in those directions. So at this point, we're gonna have Beth hit the auto level button and we'll see how it works. So with auto level on this system, the first thing it does is it has to go below the level mark. Wow. Ooh. Up, it didn't work. We're gonna end up having to hook up Oh, really? Yeah. Auto level. Yep. It's not going to work. Did not work. Okay, so we have to raise it back up again, hook the truck back up again because we thought we had enough underneath the tires to make it level and we do not and the auto leveler will not will not let us level it without that. So, you had to manually do what you said? Well, I've got a, I wasn't able to hit the two buttons to have it return to home. Okay. Because it had aired out. Okay. So what I need to do at this point is I need to, it, it's got to go a certain number of degrees below level. Right. In order to, for it to work. Okay. All right. So what I've got to do is I'll hook the truck back up and I'll put more blocks under the, under the tires. Okay. And it should work this time. And hopefully it'll work this time. <laughs> okay. Usually, we have not been in this site before. But, so. but we have had this problem we have. at this campground. Right. Yeah, we so have. So it's any time that we have the... A little bit of a slope. Because even over there, backwards. you can see that it slopes down some. Well, that bit. way it slopes. This yeah, way? It does slope that way. Yeah, right? it does slope towards it's the fence. Like, yeah. yeah. So, okay, well, here we go again. So even after doing the... Uh, after putting additional blocks under it, we were still low enough in the front <laughs> that it would not auto level. Yeah, site so, number 15 at Tanglewood. Tanglewood. I would not, maybe for a smaller camper, but our fifth wheel had a hard time. Yeah, at least this far back, there. it would not auto level. So yeah. I manually did everything. Yeah, and it still worked out fine. So everything worked out. So just manually leveled everything. So the takeaway on that particular evolution is you know how to use the manual level, yeah. how to manually level it in the event that the auto level doesn't work. Yeah, because that's something I did not know. So, yep. I mean, I've heard you talk about it before, but I never have seen really watched you do it. Yep, so. so but yep. it is leveled now, so we're Yay, good to go. we can continue. That's right. So she's put the end of the cable into the trailer yep. and tightened it down. Now we're gonna go over here. 
And please apologize how dirty the trailer is. <laughs> it needs a bath so bad. It really needs a bath. Okay, we got to make sure that the cable doesn't back over top of itself. Okay, so do you because, want to go this way because there's more there? Yeah, because if the cable backs over top of itself, it can overheat the okay. current. Yeah, so. Okay. And once again, here, this is this is going over top. So, okay, so twist it around. Twist it around okay. so it's not. <laughs> there you go. All right, put it back in here where. Now it goes in oh. here. Oh, there, duh. Down here this time. This there, okay. Straight in. Oh my gosh. Okay. All, all right, Yahoo! we're good. Okay, now. Turn the electric on? Hit the breaker. Okay. Turn that baby on. Okay. All right, we should, in a matter of, uh, it'll click here in a minute and right. we'll have power in the RV. Click. There. There we go. I heard the click. Okay, so we are going to pull the steps out so we can go inside and turn the air on because it's really hot. And humid. <laughs> and humid here. <laughs> we do not miss the East Coast humidity. We do not. Down here. We'll have to get our mat and bring wait, it over. Wait, we forgot. We got a towel. Lift oh, it back up. Back up. Yep. It was wet this morning when we left. So Tom put a towel there and I forgot that it was there. So make sure you always check underneath your steps if you... Make sure there's nothing there. Or, or whoever does that to you. Okay. Now you see... Right now there's a spot, a space here, and that's, this has to be flushed with that. So I'm gonna, Same on this side over here. Gonna, so Beth is now going to adjust that. Beth is gonna try to adjust it. Let's see. Pull, yeah, up. Okay. Yeah, pull up on that. No, you went the wrong way. I think it's pretty steady. I think it's okay on this side, isn't it? Gotta lift it up. <laughs> Lift up on the there. Okay, now, there we go. Wait. Oops, it's not level. Oops. Here. Okay, put it down. Put the put okay. that down. Let go of that. All right, that looks pretty good to me. Okay, we well, got to check up here. Looks like we're. I think we're good there. All right. All right. Okay. So the steps done. are down. Yep. And it's steady. So. Ready to go inside. We're gonna go inside and we're gonna turn the air conditioner on. It is hot outside. All right, come here. Okay, I'm turning the lights on first. Okay. So I have to disengage. Okay. Okay. I'm All right. The glasses on, so it's really hard. Hit the power button. <laughs> okay. All right. Hit zone one. Right, the zone button. Oh, you gotta hit power button again. Okay, zone. Okay. Oops. Hit. Two, oh, it says cool. Yep. Okay. And instead of auto, because we've got, uh, we want it to cool down really good. Hit the fan button until it says high. So that's low, medium, high. Okay. okay, now hit the zone button again. Here? Yep, zone. Now zone two, hit the mode. Here? Yep. I have my glasses on. Until it's on cool, <laughs> okay. Once again, hit the fan button until it's on high. All right. All right, and I have done this before. So yes, it's not has. like I haven't done this before. Yes, yes, she okay. has. Okay. So. But that's just one of those part things of that we gotta do. That's yep. right, part of the setup. Okay. You notice that she has a wipe in her hand. Why do you have a wipe in your hand? To make sure there's nothing left on here from the previous owner, previous person as you. Yeah. And you get the germs off. Because we have seen people we have. that have stuck their sewer hose right up they on have. that fresh and water it's been spigot. Gross. Okay. So and we'll pick that up when we're all done. Yeah. I'll so. leave that. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> So now she is going to connect, or she's connecting our water pressure regulator. <laughs> she's trying. Is it good? That's right. You're, you're getting that. It's a little tough, but I still have a hard time doing some things with my wrist because of the accident. Yeah. So sometimes it, it, it's a little longer for me to do stuff since I had that bike accident on my e-bike almost two years ago. Two years ago this weekend. Yeah, is that's that right. Is on there? No, see how it's loose hanging there? Yeah. Yeah, it's not. Okay. So I can help you tighten it if you need okay. me. So I just have to push it up a little bit more. So it shouldn't be loose, right? No, it should. Okay. Oops, is that good? Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll check it here in just a second. Okay. Okay, right, so put that on. Yep. She used a quick. We have a quick disconnect. Right, right there. So she used it there. 
Okay. Okay. Now I need you to, you need to stretch that hose out. Okay. And then where am I going? You're going to stretch that hose out, point it someplace, because I'm going to shoot water through it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's do that. So, as she does that, sorry about the hand covering the thing. I'm going to turn the water on temporarily. Uh, you're going to get your foot wet. Okay. okay. All right, pick it back up. Okay. okay. Now we're gonna go over. Uh -huh. and we're gonna hook it inside the closet. Well, in a second. Okay, well, right now, okay. So let me go and put, bring this over because right now it is, you went on this side of the cone? It can be on either side of the cone. Okay. Right. It can, yeah, we can move it. Still move in it, a I'm second. sure. Okay, <laughs> gotta unscrew that. Okay. I'll hold this. Okay. Unscrew that one. Okay. Put it off to the side. Okey dokey. Unscrew the other one. Oh, there's another one here? From the, other, from the bottom. Oh, from the bottom? Is it? Oh, yeah. Cool. Remember, you're looking at it backwards, so. <laughs> you're going to have to get it. Okay. I still have a hard time to not do it. Oh, she tightened it more. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the camera. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I still have a tough time turning with my wrist, even after two years. But this one is really tight, and I think I just made it worse for Tom to turn. <laughs> Son of a gun. All right, it's the other way. <laughs> so Tom untightened it for me. Oops. I actually had to use a towel so I could get a hold of it. I just, yeah. my sweaty hands couldn't get a hold of it. Yeah. Okay, the big green hose uh -huh. goes down through the hole. Okay. Like that, and then you hook yep. this on there, and this goes down into the hole. So, down in the hole in there, to ready. plug it. Oh. <laughs> hey, we're learning, right? <laughs> that's that's the object, okay? And All then right, then take this and hook it to that. Yep, okay. This this one pushes up, this one pushes up, yeah, just like the other, okay? <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay. Okay. And it's in there tight. All right. All right, now. Okay. And then we, now. We're going to check the water pressure. Okay. All right. Water pressure, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this valve off. Okay. Okay. That okay. valve off. So okay. now, when I turn the water, turn oh. the water on, it's okay. only going to pressurize. There. And we are... Just about 50 pounds, maybe a hair over, so we're good. Good, all right. All right, so. Good for the water pressure. Now we can turn that valve back on after we go inside. Right. Because I don't want to turn, I don't like turning the water on while we're not inside. Yeah, we gotta check all the places, things to make sure they didn't turn on when we we're traveling. Exactly. The spigots and stuff, yep. Yep, exactly. Magic gloves. <laughs> Magic gloves. because when you're working with when, anytime we work with a sewer line, you need gloves. We always wear gloves. That's pretty because I've seen people that don't wear them, and I'm like, oh. So anyway, that's just. That's and, just nice. and while it's our waste, it's, it's still, still nasty. Nasty. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, so twist this. Yep. I got. Oh, I got that one off. And put, you put, put it, it up, up over top. Yep. Okay. Yep. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and pull the big gray slinky out. Oh, this is the worst part. It's really not bad. Although I'm, I'm glad I'm on this side of it okay, then when we're put, done. You can put it down. Put the slinky okay. down. I'm glad that I'm doing this now and not when we're done. <laughs> yeah, with the outside stuff. Okay. This goes out? This one? No, this piece. This piece? This this piece. Okay. That one. Okay. okay. You got to put it on there. It goes on this way? Other way. Other way. This way? Okay. Yep. Nope. You're okay. Turn it one more time. Nope. Turn it left. Okay. Left. One more time to the left. Okay. No, you pull it out. Pull it out. Now turn it to the left. Okay. Now turn it to the right. right. And latch it in place. It's latched. Okay. Okay. And you notice we have two valves there. The reason we have two valves there, this valve prevents anything that may have stayed in the pipes while we were draining from coming out when we take the cap off. This valve allows us to back flush our gray tanks or the black tank if we choose to do it through here when we uh, when we need to do it. And we need to spray because there are ants all we over We will, the place. we will spray. Yes, we always try to spray at our campsite. Okay, so next, 
grab this piece okay here uh-huh take that lid off you've got to you got to hold the that hold oh, the collar like the while you do one. it okay, okay. You down here yeah just put it in there okay. yep and it's on the same thing yep same sort of thing Oops. you got to take you go that way and... yep okay. all the way tight okay. okay now pull that pull this one yeah pull good and pull it keep pull that end off of it here this end okay just no the, here oh this piece right here but oh, just okay. loosen it so that okay. air can just you can have it in there still but, oh just have it a little bit loose yeah so that it can come through okay, okay. let's see you if that go around this way you go no around? go straight okay see if that hose will reach it's got to stretch pull oh, that no. piece out pull that end piece out a little bit more okay oh i see so the air can get pull it out again pull it out will it reach <laughs> okay it's Okay, I've any? got I've got some additional uh, additional hose. Okay. Some additional pieces. Okay. That I'll put on it to extend it. Okay. So we're just a hair short on a sewer hose. Yeah. So we'll put a uh, put a couple pieces on there. That will instead of putting a whole new hose on it, we'll put a couple pieces on, and that'll give us enough of an extension. Open the lid up. Screw that thing in. This part. Yep. Part no, not that, that part. part. Okay. The screw. Okay. That part. Yep. Screw it down in there. Got to make sure it's straight. <laughs> I think you're. Is that too? Is that? You might. Let's it's gotta see. Go the other way, doesn't it? Because it's no, wait, be... wait, wait, wait. No, you're a little crooked. You're. You, you got to sit it in there straight. Okay, try it. Yeah, it's not quite. It's not. You're not getting it straight. Okay. It's, yeah. Okay, try again. Ugh. Where's this part? It, it's, okay, you're, you're crooked. How's that? Still. That's straight right there. Okay. You got to make sure when you're screwing it in that you screw it in perfectly straight. <laughs> it doesn't seem like this would be hard, but it actually, because you don't, you never know if the threads are the same, it can be a real pain. Yeah. So, but you guys get the idea. Yep. Okay, so we got the... We put the extent, couple of little extensions on there. Yeah, and I did do it, so. And I, she did. <laughs> now we're gonna put this on this little. She's slinky. putting it on the little slinky holder. Yep. Just. There you go. Okay. All right. All right. Yes. So the sewer is basically hooked up. Okay. Well, that was. Not easy, but not terribly hard. But now I at least have a sense of knowing what to do, right? That's right. <laughs> there were a few things I struggled with, like I said, because my wrists still have problems turning things really tight or loosening things that are tight because of my accident. So um, not that I'm using that as an excuse, but it, it is a fact for me. So, um, and it's so hot out here. My hair has got so curly and it is a mess right now. <laughs> and I think I need to take a shower because I'm so hot. And it's only three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> but I have a better appreciation for what Tom does. Every time we go somewhere, he sets up and he takes down the outside. Now, I'm going to go inside and put everything up that I normally do, right? Yep, we got to do the slides too. And we got to do the slides. So, we're getting there, but uh, I don't know if this helps anybody or not. But, uh, you know, if you've done this before, let me know. Let me know how it went for you because I'd like to hear <laughs> how your adventure was put, hooking up. I haven't unhooked yet, so that's probably going to happen too. So. Yeah, this is the basic basic hookup basic hookup that i was able for, to do for our so, fifth wheel yeah so anyway that's it so all in all beth did <gasps> pretty good for not having really watched me do any of so this so one stuff. through ten how did i do oh an eight <laughs> so. <probably> nine. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to make me look good right no <laughs> you look good on your own <laughs> thanks so. it wasn't that hard like i said earlier it wasn't that hard but it was a little it wasn't easy either so but there's a lot to do when you're hooking up your sewer and your electric and your water and um you know if you're boondocking not too bad but when you're have full full hookups which we always like to have yeah and then when you're in a campsite that's a little uneven that makes it a little bit more difficult when you're backing yeah, up yeah that made it a little bit more of a yeah, challenge but it was okay we we managed and now we're gonna finish up the inside and the slides and then we're gonna just sit back and chill out for a while and enjoy our time here probably do some laundry we'll probably do some laundry after we take showers after we take showers but uh we're here in tanglewood um, park city park and Clemens North Carolina so 
anyway we have done a video on this campground before if you want to go back and check it out uh, it's a nice campground and all the sites are paid it's full hookup and the people here the, the three camp hosts are amazing yep. and our daughter just doesn't live too far from here so this is why we come back here they have a pool that is open till Labor Day and so you can swim in that you can get a discount if you're camping here plus they have beautiful trails so you can ride your bike you hike. Can walk hike Yep. There's so much to do in this area right here, just in the in the little park itself. In the park, so, yep. But we appreciate you following us, and I hope that you got some enjoyment out of watching me try to do all this. And uh, we hope you're doing well. And we'll, we'll see, see you around, around the campfire. campfire. Bye. Bye.